People think all INFJs are emotionally detached, unbothered, and self-aware. However, not all INFJs have obtained this version. Some of them are still trapped in the vagueness and ambiguity of their inner complexities, leading them to develop immature patterns and feelings of invisibility. Here are 10 reasons why an immature INFJ feels invisible. Number 10. Because they struggle to establish deep and meaningful connections with others. INFJs have a profound need for genuine connections and authentic understanding. They yearn for deep emotional connections and seek relationships that resonate intellectually and emotionally. However, they often have high expectations for relationships. When they struggle to establish these connections, they may feel their true selves are not seen or understood, leading to feelings of invisibility. They desire deep conversations, emotional intimacy, and shared values. If they cannot find individuals who can meet these expectations, they may feel like their efforts go unnoticed or unappreciated, leading to a sense of invisibility. Also, the INFJ's introverted nature can sometimes make initiating and maintaining connections challenging. They may struggle with opening up and expressing their true thoughts and emotions, which can hinder the development of deep connections. This difficulty in self-expression can contribute to an invisible feeling as their inner world remains hidden. Number 9. Because of their lack of self-advocacy While the INFJ's empathy and compassion are admirable, they may neglect their needs and desires in this process. By not advocating for themselves, they may feel overlooked or unheard, leading to a sense of invisibility. They may also struggle with assertiveness and fear conflict or rejection. They may hesitate to express their opinions, assert their boundaries, or ask for what they need. This reluctance to advocate for themselves can result in their needs being overlooked or dismissed by others reinforcing their perception of being invisible. INFJs may internalize a belief that their voice and contributions are not as valuable or significant as others. They may downplay their achievements or talents, attributing their success to external factors or luck. This lack of self-advocacy can contribute to a feeling of invisibility as they underestimate their worth and fail to assert their value. As an INFJ, how else do your reluctance to assert your value and contributions make you feel overlooked? Number 8. Because they lack self-awareness and identity A lack of self-identity can cause INFJs to seek validation and approval from others to define their worth. They may rely heavily on external feedback and opinions, neglecting their inner voice and desires. This dependency on external validation can result in feeling invisible as they prioritize others' perceptions over their sense of self. Likewise, a weak sense of identity may contribute to difficulty in confidently expressing their thoughts, emotions, and perspectives. Without a clear sense of self, INFJs may struggle to assert their beliefs or engage in meaningful conversations, leading to a perception of being invisible or overlooked. This can hinder INFJs from recognizing and embracing their unique strengths and qualities. They may downplay their talents and accomplishments, failing to showcase their potential. This self-underestimation can contribute to feelings of being invisible as their abilities and contributions go unnoticed. Number 7. Because they overly emphasize the value of others' approval If INFJs prioritize others' approval, they may neglect their needs and desires. They may suppress their authentic selves to conform to societal expectations or to please others. In doing so, they may feel invisible because they are not expressing their thoughts, emotions, and identities. 
Overly seeking approval can lead to a lack of boundaries and a tendency to accommodate others at the expense of their well-being. INFJs may find themselves consistently putting others' needs ahead of their own, leaving their desires and aspirations unfulfilled. This self-neglect can contribute to feelings of invisibility as they prioritize others' approval over their self-expression and fulfillment. So, constantly pursuing others' approval can be exhausting and unsustainable. The approval of others can be unpredictable and fleeting, leading to a constant chase for validation. This perpetual quest for approval can result in invisible feelings, as they may feel they are never truly seen or valued for who they are. But as an INFJ, how do you overcome your tendency to prioritize meeting others' expectations? Number 6. Because they still have difficulty establishing boundaries. Without clear boundaries, INFJs may find themselves constantly accommodating others' needs and desires, often at the expense of their own well-being. They may prioritize maintaining harmony and avoiding conflict, leading to a tendency to neglect their own boundaries. This can result in an invisible feeling as their needs and limits are disregarded. The inability to establish boundaries can lead to a lack of self-advocacy. INFJs may struggle to assert their needs, express their opinions, or assert their values. This difficulty in self-expression can contribute to a perception of being invisible, as their true thoughts and feelings go unexpressed and unheard. Number 5. Because they avoid asserting themselves or expressing their opinions. If INFJs avoid self-expression, they may find it challenging to make their presence known or to have their thoughts and ideas acknowledged. Their reluctance to assert themselves can result in their voice being unheard or overlooked in various contexts. They may fear conflict or negative reactions from others. They prioritize maintaining harmony and avoiding disagreements, which can lead them to suppress their opinions or shy away from expressing themselves assertively. This fear of conflict can contribute to a sense of invisibility as they may avoid situations where their perspectives could lead to disagreement or confrontation. And by avoiding self-assertion, INFJs may unintentionally contribute to a perception of being invisible. When they consistently hold back their thoughts and opinions, others may overlook their unique insights and perspectives, diminishing their visibility in group discussions or decision-making processes. As an INFJ, do you prefer staying in the background rather than risk confrontation? Number 4. Because they worry about being judged or misunderstood. This self-censorship can result in feeling invisible, as INFJs conceal significant aspects of their identity to avoid potential scrutiny. The fear of being misunderstood can make INFJs reluctant to share their thoughts and feelings openly. They may anticipate misinterpretation or lack of empathy from others, leading them to withdraw and keep their experiences hidden. Fear can contribute to a sense of invisibility as their true thoughts and emotions remain unshared and unacknowledged. The worry about judgment or being misunderstood can prevent INFJs from fully participating in social interactions or expressing themselves authentically. They may become hyper-aware of others' reactions and opinions, causing them to filter or modify their words and actions to fit in or avoid potential criticism. This self-monitoring can create a sense of invisibility as their true selves are concealed or altered to match external expectations. Number 3. Because they lack assertiveness. INFJs may struggle to communicate their thoughts and preferences clearly, leading to a perception of being invisible as their voice and presence go unnoticed. 
Also, the tendency to avoid assertiveness can lead to a pattern of accommodating others at the expense of their own well-being. INFJs may prioritize maintaining harmony and avoiding conflict, which can cause them to sacrifice or neglect their own needs and defer to the wishes of others. This self-neglect can contribute to feelings of being invisible as their own desires and priorities are overshadowed. As an INFJ, does lacking assertiveness also contribute to your feelings of being invisible or unheard? Number two, because they keep on disregarding personal needs. INFJs may consistently put others' needs first, resulting in their own needs going unaddressed and unnoticed. This self-neglect can contribute to a feeling of invisibility as their personal needs are overshadowed and unacknowledged. Consistently disregarding personal needs can lead to a lack of self-care and self-fulfillment. INFJs may find themselves depleted and emotionally drained as they continuously focus on meeting the expectations and demands of others. This neglect of self-care can result in invisible feelings as they neglect their own well-being and fail to invest time and energy in activities that bring them joy and fulfillment. Disregarding personal needs can lead to a lack of boundaries and difficulty asserting themselves. INFJs may struggle to establish and communicate their limits, resulting in others taking advantage of their accommodating nature. This can perpetuate a cycle of feeling invisible as they continuously prioritize others' needs at their own expense. Number one, because they constantly compare themselves to an idealized version. INFJs may constantly strive for perfection, believing that only when they meet this ideal, will they be visible or valued. This relentless pursuit of an unattainable image can perpetuate feelings of being invisible. As they continuously feel, they fall short of their own expectations. Their tendency to focus on an idealized version can lead to self-criticism and self-judgment. INFJs may excessively scrutinize themselves emphasizing their flaws and downplaying their accomplishments. This negative self-perception can contribute to feelings of being invisible as they fail to recognize and appreciate their own unique qualities and contributions. As an INFJ, how do you overcome this self-critical mindset that can lead to feelings of unworthiness? The journey of an immature INFJ towards self-awareness and personal growth is needed to overcome feelings of invisibility. By understanding the reason behind their perceived invisibility, immature INFJs can take proactive steps to establish healthy boundaries and cultivate genuine connections. As an INFJ, what should you do to overcome feelings of invisibility? Have you taken the necessary steps to grow and defeat these unhealthy behaviors?